Hi guys, welcome to another Naked tutorial with Jono. Only kidding, I'm just topless, that's all. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make an acoustic shield from an old a bucket and also a pop filter for one of the, from one of these embroidery ring things. Super simple, super cheap. Let's get in there. What's up guys, Jono here. And today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade acoustic shield. If you don't know what an acoustic shield is, it's one of these. Ding! Right, so what I've got here is a large bucket, shallow kind of bucket, right? Doesn't cost very much. I have so I have a saw, which I'm gonna to use to cut the bucket. Got some sandpaper, which I'm gonna to use to scrub the edges. I have some plastic glue, some fast drying glue. I also have some rubber glue, some spray paint so I can paint it afterwards and I have some acoustic egg box type foam. Now if you buy an acoustic shield from Amazon or somewhere it costs around 80 to 100 dollars. So I'm going to be making one today and all of this materials and everything cost me less than $20. So we'll see how it goes, it's a bit of an experiment. Hopefully it should work but we'll see, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this bucket. There's a few lines on here which will hopefully be able to guide me. I want to cut it perfectly in half and then I'm going to put one bit on top of the other before I put the foam round. You'll see what I mean. Actually, I'm going to do this outside because it's going to get um, plastic sawdust everywhere, so I'll be back. Kind of messed it up a bit, it's cracked as you can see, but hopefully it won't matter too much. Right, I think that's it. Let's go back inside. Half of it done. All right, so the camera battery died during my um, during my time lapse shoot. So basically, where I'm up to is I've got the two bits of the bucket which I cut in half look over here um, and then I sanded the back of it and the front of it and uh, the edges here and then I glued I've glued it together with some um, heavy duty plastic glue and that's going to take about two or three hours to dry and it's nearly dark now so I'm going to leave this till tomorrow um, all I've got left to do is put the foam on it which I have cut out here so all I've got left is to stick that on the inside and then paint the outside with some spray paint which I've got as well and I've roughed up the outside with some sanding paper so tomorrow yeah there's not going to be much left to do with it now hey well I'm supposed to actually leave the glue for another for 24 hours to let it set properly but in the meantime I mean it's kind of pretty solid now and I've sprayed it as well as you can see spray painted it I still need to go over it again still need to go over it again there's a couple of patches but I thought before I go to bed I'm gonna stick the foam on the inside so in the morning it's gonna be dry I'm just using some um, rubber synthetic glue and this is the stuff that people sniff so don't want to get too close to it Ibon, it's called Ibon it's like notorious for glue sniffers over here Ooh, whoa. Oh, that's 
it again. Yo, it's it's really, really good. Good morning. Another day, another dollar. And it's time to complete my uh, acoustic shield. Here we go. Here's what it looks like so far. Not bad. Just need to trim the foam on the edges and then it's pretty much done. So let's get to it. There we go, done. Doesn't look too bad. It is a bit sketchy actually, but you know, it's not really about what it looks like, it's about what it does, and I'm sure it's gonna work pretty well. Um, nobody's gonna see it anyway. So there you go, my $20 acoustic shield. Ta-da! Right, today I'm going to be making a pop filter. I've already got my homemade acoustic shield that I made a few days ago. And now I'm going to be making a pop filter. So, I just went to the knitting shop and got one of these. Basically it's for embroidery. So, like old women will put this, put like a piece of uh, material over here and then they'll like cross stitch some, um, some pictures of Peter Pan or something. But what I'm going to be using it for is the holder for some satin material that I've got. I'm just going to put this on here, stretch it out like that on both sides and make it into a pop filter. So here we go. Pop filter. Pretty cool. All I gotta do now is fix it on somewhere on my microphone. Gonna use some uh, bit of wire and just try and uh, try and strap it on. Right. Um, I don't think the wire is gonna be strong enough. So what I found is this thing, which I use for like holding my phone next to my computer. 
So I'm just going to clamp this onto the top of over here and then I'm going to clip my pop filter. There we go, we are done, take it out, homemade pop filter, thanks for watching, peace.